Hello, my friend. Welcome to Breakfast with Sergio. This is episode number 102, episode 102. And today I'm very excited, very happy uh, because today I want to talk to you about how to negotiate the price of your art, how to negotiate the price with a prospect buyer, with a prospect collector. So my friend, before I do that, my plate this morning for breakfast, I have two delicious pancakes and also oatmeal, a little bit of oatmeal on the side. And this is my breakfast for today. I am really looking forward to this. What are you having for breakfast? Let me know. I always enjoy. And maybe, uh, you know, if you have some recipes to send me, please let me know because I'm running out of breakfast ideas. So anyway, my friend, let's talk about how to negotiate the price of your art. You know, that is very important. At some point in your art career, you will have, you know, to negotiate the price of your art. It is really great when somebody comes in, a collector, a buyer comes in, writes a check for the exact amount as you have it listed. That is awesome, that is beautiful. You know, that doesn't happen all the time. In my experience, the more higher the prices are in your list, you know, the more that you probably will have to do some negotiating. So I wanna give you some tips today on how to negotiate um, with a prospect buyer. First of all, before you get to that point of negotiation, you gotta make sure that in your price, you already include cushion for negotiating. If you're pricing your art already at the lowest minimum that you want to get, then you have no room for negotiation. I mean that if you negotiate 10, 15%, you know, of the price you're already losing and you don't want to ever be in that position. So you always, as you price your art, you gotta give yourself a cushion. I would recommend about 20% cushion minimum where you can negotiate price. Now, you probably want to do a little bit more, especially if you're working with galleries and so on, so you have a commission uh, already built in into the price point, right? So uh, you have to have that cushion, that cushion that allows you to negotiate. So once you have a good price that uh, you know has um, a space for negotiating, then what you want to do next is uh, you know be ready to negotiate and don't feel offended if somebody comes in and offers you a quantity that you are not happy with from the get-go i know a lot of artists that sometimes feel like hurt and offended like how could somebody you know offer me this much you know if the piece is 1000 they're offering me 700 or 600 you know that, that's an insult well you know think about this you know when you go to a dealer you know you're gonna buy a card for example you know, if you have the section where the new cars are and, you know, you see a really nice Mercedes, you say to the dealer, to the salesman, hey, I offer you 10000 for that brand new, you know, <laughs> Mercedes Benz, right? What the salesman will do and will say, well, you know, maybe have a quick laugh and will not feel offended, will not feel like personal attack on himself or herself. That person will say, well, you know what? Uh, you're really, what you're looking at for that price point, for your budget, you are looking at this side of the dealership, right? This is where the used car or maybe the compact small car sections are that fits the budget that you have in mind, right? So they are really quickly, they point you in the right direction so that you, you know, you don't feel maybe dumb or stupid at making an offer on something that you cannot afford, which sometimes happens, you know, it's, it's sometimes, a person might not know how to buy art, might be their first time buying art, and they, they need some help. So always approach it with, let me help you out, right? I never take it personal, never feel like, oh, you know, this person's trying to take advantage of me and so on. You know, maybe that person is, but then that's where the negotiating part will come in. So, you know, if somebody comes in and offers you a really, really low sum, so what you want to do, there are different ways in which you can negotiate. One thing that you can do, and that you should always do is come back with a counter offer. Always, you should always come back with a counter offer. If they offer you 700 for the work that you have there, and in your mind you say, okay, I, I'm not gonna go lower than 15%, so you can give them a counter offer with maybe 10% lower. Say, so, well, no, I cannot do you know, 700, because the work is priced at 1,000, that, that really hurts, but you know, I could probably go down to 900, for example. And then you give him a counter offer. So give him a counter offer 
And if you need to take time to think about the counter offer, take your time, take your time. Never rush the decision, take your time. And see if, you know, see if then maybe they might have another counter offer and you just keep negotiating until you get to a price point that both the buyer and you are happy with. Never, never undersell the art just because on the first shot that they give you, if it's not close to what you're looking for. Another way that you can negotiate is by size. You say, okay, you know, you're offering me $700, this piece is 1,000. Well, I have other works that are within the price range that you're looking at. And I can still give you a little bit, you know, a bit of a discount so you're happy with your purchase. So you introduce them to other works that are within the price range that they have. You know, that's an option, kind of like what the dealership will do if you offer uh, if you offer them, you know, a very low price for a car that you're looking at. Say, no, 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 no. What you're really looking at is the cars on this side of the, on this corner of the dealership, right? That's kind of what you can do as well. Introduce the buyer to something, the works that are in the price range that they're looking for. You may offer a commission. If you do commissions, you may offer a commission. Say, well, you know, this this one, you know, it's uh, uh, you know, it's priced one thousand. If that's a, a price that you cannot afford, we can do a commission on a lower size piece, for example you know, a smaller size or something similar, you know, you can, you can offer that as well. Uh, another idea that you can, that you can think of is uh, you can offer other services. For example, say, well, uh, you know, I will give you free delivery. You know, if that's something that you can do, I will give you free delivery and installation. I will go to your home and I will install it myself. You know, that will save you time and money. Otherwise, you know, you still have to pay for the shipping. You still have to pay for you know, the installation of the work. So that's another option, right? You can offer a service uh, associated with the price of the work that is not necessarily a big discount, right? So maybe say, okay, I'll give you 5% discount and then I'll take it to your house and I will install it myself so you don't have to worry about it. It's gonna be awesome, it's gonna look beautiful. You know, another option, here's another way of negotiating. You offer them a, a, a you know, Ser framing services. If you know how much uh, the frame will be, if you can frame it yourself, for example, you know, you can offer that as a service. Okay, okay, I will frame it for you and, you know, the frame is worth X much, right? And then, you know, I will frame it for you because if it's a frame that you're going to do yourself, then you're already, you know, saving, you're giving that service uh, as an added value, right? Instead of giving them a big chunk of discount. Uh, you can also... Uh, do a trade-in, for example, some sort of trade. You know, if you know that the buyer, the collector, is somebody who has a business, for example, or something that interests you, then you can offer a trade. You say, okay, I'll give you, I give it to you for seven thousand, but you know, you can also give me this other thing or service. Uh, for example, maybe they they have a shipping company. Okay, you you can give me. Uh, shipping services on my next uh, three sales, you know, for example, or it's a, the, maybe the person works in printing or design or it's a web designer, you know, I'll give you this come, but then, you know, you're going to also do this other X for me. And whatever, the, you know, discounts that you're offering, you always want to have it in writing, especially if it's something that requires some sort of trade or some sort of long-term uh, commitment, right? Never just do a handshake and, and uh, believe that the person is going to remember you know, two months from now. And then the last one, another one, another uh, thing that you can do is you can offer payment plans. Say, okay, maybe seven, 700 for you is hard right now, but I can give you a payment plan where maybe uh, let's divide, you know, let's say we'll, I'll give you 10% discount, we'll keep it at 900 and uh, we'll do it in three payments, so at 300 each. So when the three payments happen, then at, at the end of the last payment, you can come in, pick up the work, it's all yours, I'll have a nice wrap and ready, I'll give you a certificate of authenticity, or I'm gonna go install in your house, whatever, you know, make them feel really special, really great, and you make it easy for them. If you're going to do that, of course, you also want to have an agreement. Always have a written agreement for anything that requires, you know, additional, additional work, besides the one-time sale in the, in the, on the spot. So my friend, those are some tips that you can do next time that you have to negotiate your art. I hope you like this episode. Share it with your friends. If you're watching on YouTube or listening to the podcast, don't forget to subscribe, subscribe, so you don't get, so you don't miss, <laughs> I'm sorry, so you don't miss future episodes of Breakfast with Sergio. Have an amazing day. I'm going back to this awesome and delicious breakfast. Take care, bye.